Aren't you going to be late for work? I'm taking a day off. Haven't had a nice long weekend in a while. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Maybe it's your boss. Hold on. Good bad kid. Yep. What do you want? <laughs> Small talk, this will be good. What do you want? <laughs> are you serious? No, Steve, are you serious? We haven't talked to each other in, in, in years, and I'm not just gonna drop it and then come down there and... <sighs> what happened? Is it money? Keith, just... Keith. Okay. Okay, fine. I said fine, Keith. Listen, just... Stop talking. Were you listening? Who was that? I will explain when I get back. When you get back? Are you kidding? What? Do you really think you can just leave and not explain what's going on? I'd be happy to explain mm -hmm. just when I get back. What is it? Who was on the phone? Yeah, it was my brother. Oh. I know I haven't told you much about him. Was it money? No, I think that we just... He would have asked for that over the phone. You know, this is something else. Well... I'll come with you. He specifically asked me to come alone. I don't think it would be a good idea. But if he needs help, I don't want you to go up there all by yourself be fine. It's not like he's dangerous or anything. You know? Okay, that's not what I meant. It's just, we're a team, right? That's what you said when we moved in together. And we are. But this is different. No, I don't think it is. I think this is what being a team is for, for times like now. I just, you know, I don't want you to meet him like this. You know, he's, he's at one of his low points. And... Brian, I don't care about that kind of stuff. Everybody's family has problems. It's, it's no use pretending we're all perfect. He's an alcoholic, Molly. He's probably not even going to be himself. And besides, the whole thing is weird. Like, seriously, it, it's... It, the place, the area, the cabin, it used to be like this like mining town in the gold rush, but it's abandoned now, and it's... <laughs> I do not want to hear any more excuses. I only have one more question. What? How many bags should I pack?
Is he here? Yeah, he's here. I thought it had been like maybe a couple years since you guys last saw each other. Well, we talked on the phone once or twice. Sometimes we leave voicemails, but they're not usually coherent. Thank you for coming. Good to see you too. Either of you want a, something to drink, water or coffee? No, I'm good. I'd actually love a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Is it okay? It's great. You know, I was always a coffee maker of the family. I knew all the ratios. Yeah, I had the biggest cup, so it was a full spoonful of coffee grounds. Two sugars, cream. Mom's cup was it's, it's much smaller, so it was just a little sugar, a little cream, so it was just light brown. Dad's cup was just a little bigger, so it was basically the same. Uh, Brian liked his black, so he was easy. And you'd still mess it up. Yeah, well, that was on purpose. <laughs> It's been a while since I've made a cup of coffee for someone new, so, you yeah, know, thank you. I'm sorry if I was a little, if I, if I was abrasive earlier. That's okay, I know you weren't expecting me. Hey, Molly. You're, you're right. I wasn't. Look, I believe in honesty, and I know we just met Keith, but I want you to know that Brian and I are here to help, okay? With whatever you need. say something? Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to help. Our family is not like yours. There are there are issues here. <laughs> we, we have problems between me and Keith, between Keith and our parents. He hasn't talked to them in years. Well, it's not going to help to keep it all bottled up inside. No, it won't help if he has a mental fucking breakdown either, Molly. Sorry, and I know that you're trying to help, but there's just, there's too much history here. There's the... That's why I didn't want you to come out in the first place. There's just too much. All right. I gotta go talk to him. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, no. Come on. Well, uh, I got further than I thought it would. You're good. Really shut up. And I'll just try, uh, try this. It's a little shorter, more your speed. This takes practice, you're good. <laughs> All right, fuck this. No, oh, come on, you just, it's practice. You don't, don't be ashamed of this. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> uh. I'm sorry for dragging you out here. Dragging her out here. Yeah, why are we here, Keith? I'll show you tonight. Sneak out of bed. Can't show me now? Just trust me. Oh, uh, Molly wants to go out a little later, take some pictures. Of what? I don't know. Nature. 
it, all right? Yeah. Just don't stay out too late. It's going to get dark soon. Stay near the cabin. Candids are the best. <laughs> Thought they were for hacks. At this point, I'll take any assignment I can get. You'll get something soon. I know it, you're too good. Being good's only half of it. I'm gonna make it, you know? We can make it. <laughs> are you gonna help him, though? What do you think I should do? He's your brother. Things are gonna be hard enough as it is. We have space for him and this place will swallow him whole. It'll be like having a child to look after. You said you wanted kids. I'm being serious. As am I. Look, people like Keith, they drag you down. I mean, he will find new ways of getting into trouble but we'll be there to help him. It doesn't have to be for long. We just have to show him that he's not alone. Phone calls aren't enough. Hey! I, I, I made sandwiches. Sorry to cut your time short. I just worry it's easy to get turned around. Yeah, that's okay. It does seem like it can get really scary out there. <laughs> and lonely. <laughs> I, uh, Molly, I, I saw your camera. Yeah. Are you a photographer? Trying to be. What do you mean trying? Oh, it's hard to get actual work. Paying work as a photographer. She's really good at it, though. Being good is only half of it. What's the other half? Hassle, endless rejection, annoying people to get a gig, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see your stuff? Yeah, I have a website. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll email you a link. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have email, Brian. Mm-hmm. Well, here, I have... you can just look at this album on my phone. <laughs> These are really good. Thank you. <laughs> wow, people would be crazy not to hire you, right? <laughs> well, there are a lot of crazies out there. <laughs> uh, and Molly has an interview on Monday, which is uh, actually what we wanted to talk to you about, Keith. Um, we can't stay all weekend. Probably have to leave Sunday morning at the latest. Actually, I was thinking Saturday afternoon, maybe. But... Uh, You're welcome to come back with us. We have a spare room that you can use. Keith? <laughs> Keith? So, what do you say? Thank you. Okay. It's okay. I'm gonna go to bed. Hey. Oh. Good night. Night. Was that a yes? Yeah, that was a yes. So, how do you feel? I really don't know. <laughs> well, I think you did the right thing, asking him to stay with us. But I don't want you to do it for the wrong reasons. No, I, I, I want him to come with us. Okay. When we were younger, um, Keith was always getting into trouble. 
like drinking or getting into fights or whatever. And, uh, and towards the end of high school, I was always kind of having to like pick up after him. And, uh, one night at a graduation party, I got a little drunk and I called him and I asked if he could come and pick me up. He said I should, that I should call him and that he would, you know, not let our parents know. <laughs> So I did, and he came, and uh, I guess I was a little too far gone to realize that he probably shouldn't be driving either. And I woke up behind the wheel, and the car was wrapped around a stop sign. Because Keith had put me there, and he said that he, he could go to jail if he got arrested. I didn't even have a chance to make a choice before the cops showed up. Oh my god. I was 17, so I was, um, I was charged as a minor and the DUI didn't stick. But uh, I did lose my college scholarship. Keith didn't realize that would happen. <laughs> And so I couldn't afford it, and I went to my second choice. And uh, after I graduated, I never saw him again. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Is it? It's the thing, though, is that I spent years of my life resenting him and feeling like he had like stolen a part of me. But the truth is, is if he hadn't done what he did, I never would have met you. I don't know. Seeing him here, it just feels like maybe he was affected more than I was. You know, his whole family and his brother casting him out here. I don't know. This feels like if he doesn't come back now, he'll be out here forever. Molly? Is this cold out here? No. It's this way. Keith, where are we going? Happening, Keith. He didn't get far. He... Keith. I didn't know. Keith. I didn't know. What did you do? 
This was an accident. I didn't mean to do this. No, 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 Brian, Brian. Don't go near him. I, mean, I was scared. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to call. The cops. You gotta call the cops, man. No. No. We can't just leave him here like this. Don't put me away. It was an accident, right? Yeah. I was drinking. Oh, Jesus, Keith. Jesus Christ, man. No, I'm on parole, all right? I'm not supposed to have a gun. They will throw me in jail, Brian. What do we do? You wanted to bury him? Hey, hey, look at me. I can't have you fucking up my life anymore. No, 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 Brian, come on. I'm not doing this alone. Please don't make me do this alone. No, I am not. No, you cannot ask me, me to do this. Right now. I need you. Keith, Please, I need you can't you. ask me. That is I need you. Keith, you can't. I, need I, you. I, I have, have a life. Do you get that? I have a life, <laughs> man. I'm sorry, man. I have a life. I have Molly. I have a shot at this. And I'm sorry that things didn't work out for you. But I can't have you fucking things up for me, and not again. I was aiming for his hand. You okay? I'm never talking to you again after this. This, this is it. I didn't know. I didn't know he was still alive. I will take care of this. Hello? Cover his face first. His face, please, just cover his face. What do you say? Cover his face. Brian, I'm... I'm... No, I don't. Get us home. What is it? It's 
Just give me a second. Are we lost? No. No. Keith, I have to get back to Molly. You hear that? What? There's nothing. There's no sound. I'm so sorry. We, we, just, we were just out there talking. You should have told me. I, I didn't want to wake you. It's my fault. Molly, I'm sorry. It was... It's, it's, it's my fault. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I, sh I should have told you. It's okay. I just... I got freaked out. I thought I heard someone talking outside. Uh, that, that, that was just us. We were just... We were out there talking. But I looked and I didn't see you guys. We were in the woods a little bit. We were just a little ways in. What are you doing? I'll tell you later. Okay. Back to bed, hmm? Sorry, I, I don't know what got into him. Did something happen last night? 
Why, he didn't tell you? Aren't you coming with us? Yeah, I just I gotta <sighs> take care of some stuff here first. Oh, Settle some things. We can stay. No, 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 if you... I'll be okay. What's wrong? Car won't start. So what's wrong with this? Give me a second. Is everything okay? You guys seem different. Yeah, everything's fine. Well, is he still coming with us? Later. We talked about some things that he needs to do before he does. Shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna be back before dark. Okay. This is an easy fix. I just gotta get the part. You know, we never had problems with the car before. Why would it just happen now? I don't know. I'll be back. I'm coming with you. No, 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 no. You should, should stay. Trust me. What if she goes out? And? What if she finds it? She won't. What if she does? Then she'll find what looks like a hole in the ground. She won't dig it up, she won't think of us, she won't think it's anything. Why are you coming? So you don't get lost. Have you told her? Told her what? Have you told her, Brian? No. Are you going to? Brian, are you going to tell her? I don't, Keith, I just want to go home. Man, I just want to go home. How much further is it? It's not far. Not far. Hello? Hey, it's Brian. I'm on Keith's phone. Everything's all right. I just realized I don't have mine. Would you mind looking for it? I want to leave as soon as we get back. Okay. All right, talk to you soon. Wait a minute. Can Keith hear you? What is it? Keith said the ignition cables were damaged, right? Yeah, that it burned out or whatever. I'm not sure. I don't think that's what happened. What do you mean? The ignition cables were missing, not damaged. Well, maybe you took it out? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a car expert, Molly. I don't really know how it works. They were missing, but I found them. They were outside, hidden. They seem fine. Did you see him take them out? No, I didn't. I heard someone messing around with the car last night. Okay. Do you think it was Keith? Brian? Is something wrong? You can tell me. Everything's fine. We're coming back right now. We'll call a cab or an Uber or whatever we need to do, but we're leaving as soon as I get back. Okay. All right, I'll be back soon. Brian? Yeah. Does anyone else live around here? I don't know. I feel like I'm hearing things. At first I thought it was Keith, but now- Stay inside. We're coming back right now. Just stay inside. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Everything okay? 
What'd you do to the car, Keith? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't touch me. Molly said she found the, 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 the whatever, whatever, the cables that they were hidden outside. You said that they were damaged. I, I know you're not a car expert, okay? I'm trying to explain it in oh, a way. Oh, fuck that off, you, man. You're just trying to get me to fix all your problems. No, I don't. You're trying to get me to stay here, right? You, that's no. why you did it. You did it no. last night. You did it on purpose. No, it's not that. Molly said that she, she heard you, that you were, you were outside, you were doing something. But the proper, that, that wasn't me. That was not me. You know what? I want to go. I want to go home right now. I want to go home and I want to forget about all this. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I'm going back. Brian, I swear to God, I opened the hood and the cables were already gone. How? I don't know, okay? I only... I don't know, I didn't tell you because I knew that you weren't gonna believe me, okay? I swear, I do not know how that could have happened. Does anyone else live nearby? I don't know. You think, does anyone else live nearby? No! No, but I... But what? <laughs> Ever since I've been here, I've... I felt like I was being watched. At first I thought that that was... Because I was all messed up, but it has been getting worse since we... What? Since what? What do you think, man? All right, we're going. We gotta go right now. Come on. Hello? Brian? It says you're calling me. Did you find your phone? Right.
Molly. Hey there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry for showing up unannounced like this. Really, I am. I'm Lenny. We've never met. all we have. Oh, th thank you so much. This is fine, real fine. How are you here? One second. Well, to be honest, I'm not quite sure. But what I do know is that this little madam might have just saved my life. What happened? Uh, the, the first part is, is still a little fuzzy. I, I woke up in the woods with one hell of a pain in my gut. I was too scared to look, so I just got on up and started walking. God, that feels good. You never realize how much you appreciate the simple things in life and until you think you might not ever have them again. Molly, uh, here is your girlfriend, right? It, Brian, was it? Never told you my name. No, but she did. We uh, were talking for a bit before you all got here. She, uh, she patched me up. I, it doesn't uh, hurt much anymore. It looked like a bullet wound. That's what I thought, but it felt like something just bit me and I was down for the count. But it couldn't be. I'd be long dead if it was. We should still get you to the hospital, though. Oh, no, no, Molly. I'm done with hospitals. I've spent enough time in them to know that they can't help me with what I've got. What do you mean? Well... I came out to these woods for a bit of peace. My whole life was a, a joke, really. I had damn near every disease on this goddamn earth that it's possible to get. The only one that stuck until recently was epilepsy. I black out and fall down unconscious. And what little family I had left would find me like that sometimes think I was dead, but I, I bared it. I could bear just about anything until they told me that I had just ticked off another box, cancer. I thought it was early enough to stop. It wasn't. Sorry to hear that. Oh, no, it, it's all right, really. I, I've come to terms with it as much as I think any man can. I came out here to these woods because I thought maybe those new age whatevers were right. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but you see all this foo-foo crap in the movies and, and the books talking about finding yourself in nature, coming to terms with the bad things in life. Are you okay, dear? Uh, I'm fine. I just, uh... Come on. Yeah, I, I didn't notice, but I... I suppose it is. It is cold in here. Having a, a secret conversation over there, are you? You two are uh, brothers, right? Yeah, I can tell. Living in your own world over there. Sorry. Don't apologize to me. This is your house. I'm just a guest. Or is it yours? It's mine. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But 
you two are more like city folk. I was too. But you're a quiet fellow. City people like to talk, but you haven't said a word, really. I have nothing to say. You moved. Pardon? You said you were a city person. I am. I am a, a city person. But where was I in the story? We really should get you to a hospital, Lenny. You might be more hurt than you think. Why don't we step outside? Well, Brian, how do you expect me to get there? I don't have a car. And yours ain't working, is it? Molly told me you guys were having car trouble. That's why she had to patch me up here. We'll call you a cab. Your phone working too? Molly, do you even know where it is? I'll tell you what. Let me just finish my story and I'll walk on out of here on my own. No need to help me more than you already have. So, where was I? Does anyone want to help me? You were in the woods trying- I was in the woods trying to find myself. That, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. And so yes, I was out here. I came here a few days ago. I stuck to the trail, it seemed simple enough. But deep down, I had a feeling this would happen. Something bad. I almost wanted something bad to happen. Do you ever feel that way, Keith? No. You've never felt self-destructive? Feel like you deserve what's coming to you? No. I read all about this place. These woods. What happened here. What used to happen here. So when I got lost in the woods, even though I stuck to the trail, I almost felt a pang of relief. Like some things in this world still make sense. There is some sort of order to it. Are you okay, Molly? I'm fine. I'm just cold. You want to ask me what used to happen here? You want to know what happens next? We know what used to happen here. Do you really? I'm sure that you heard this place dried up after the gold rush sucked it dry. That's why people don't live here anymore, right? But there's more to it than that. You see, with any town built upon a sudden influx of wealth, you get your fair share of desperation. Of thieves, murderers, and the kind of people just trying to hit the jackpot. And those ready to exploit them. If you found something, you had to be careful. If freshly found gold was like blood in the water for a shark. People were killed. People were arrested. And oftentimes, these people had to escape out into these woods. Desperate. But in a newly profound way. All of us are desperate in our own ways. But... These men, they were running for their lives into these woods, running from a rope around their neck, or worse. And most of the time, they were caught deep, deep into these woods. So far deep that the lawmen didn't bother bringing them back to be hung. They just shoot them bury them here. 
Sometimes just let them bleed out on the ground for the animals to take care of. That sort of suffering, of desperation, it can live in a place like this. In the trees, their roots, in the dirt, it calls out to be devoured. I didn't even notice that. There are things about this body that I'm still getting used to. What do you think is happening right now? You're thinking this is impossible. Maybe he didn't die. He's sitting here talking to me. Maybe it's not him. I, I didn't get a good look at his face. Maybe it's not him. Maybe it's someone who saw what happened. Or maybe he just didn't die. The bullet caused a seizure and he passed out. But the grave wasn't dug deep enough or packed tightly enough. So there was just enough air flowing through that dirt to keep him alive. This is what you're thinking. I know it is. Well, don't be scared. You do that. You console her. I know you have your own under there. Hidden. At least you thought. Leave. But you're not good at hiding things, are you, Keith? You either, Ryan. Drop the knife. I meant it when I said I'd leave once I finished my story. I don't want to get the next part started early. Keith, drop it and no one gets hurt. This is how it's going to go tonight. You have the means to fix the car. If you know what you're doing, you can Get it running in maybe five minutes. You can try it if you want, but I'll be out there. Or you can take your chances in here. It's up to you. of you! You know you deserve this! You know this is how it has to be! What are you gonna do to me now? Huh? What are you gonna do to me now? Brian, what is happening? Is he, is he going? Brian! Is he leaving? Brian! Molly! Tell me what is going on! Hello! He's not leaving. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. Stop. Ali, tell me what you did. He didn't do anything. It was me. It's always me. I was alone. I was in the woods. I was trying to shoot at some tin cans, and I, I was drunk, and I missed, and I hit him. I killed the man that's outside. I don't know how he's back but he's back. I was too afraid to see if he was dead. So I, I called the only person that I knew that I could. He helped me bury him, but he did that for me. He did that to help me. It is not his fault, Molly. I shouldn't have called. Why didn't you tell me? I never wanted you to come here. 
fix the car. Where are you going? I'm gonna buy you time. Get the cables. My mom has better stuff. Molly, come on! There he is. I was wondering which one of you would come first. Leave us alone. I don't think I will, no. Leave them alone. What do you think is happening, Keith? Wait inside. I know how to do it, Brian. I looked it up. No, I can do this. I know you don't know what you're doing. Let me. Turn the ignition when I say. I am what you think I am, Keith. Lenny didn't die right away. It took him a while to bleed out. You could have saved him if you hadn't have been such a coward. It was an accident! I know it was. And really, nothing of value was lost. All that stuff I told you at dinner was true. Lenny was a waste of space. A dead man walking. In fact, when I took his body as he was dying, I felt his relief. He was ready, just glad to go. But what you did after that, that's why you're where you are now. Ryan, too. Stop! I've seen monstrous acts in these woods in the hundreds of years I've been here. Innocent men hung and guilty men taking as many as they can with them, as they go in their desperation. Cursing God as they go. Such misery calls things like me to a place like this. What are you? That's what you want to ask me? Why do people care so much about why the things that happen, happen? Just leave them! Take me! I... I didn't do anything! I dragged him into this! I know you did. Leave them. I wish I could. But then you wouldn't learn anything. You want to die. We both know this. I'm gonna kill your brother. As for her, I might have something else in mind. It was an accident. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Molly? Almost. Uh, okay, try it. Nothing. Fuck. Okay. Um. Uh, again? Yes! yes. <sighs> okay, shit. Is everything still in place? Yeah, it might have just come loose. Okay, let me. Can you try it? You got it. Keith? Keith? Ah. Ah. 
Brian. Brian. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. No. Okay. Fuck. Get in. Just do it, just do it. Ah, I'm so okay. sorry. Okay. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Is he okay? Are you? How long was I out? Not long. What happened? He knocked you out. I, I put you back in. Hey, he's sorry. Keith is sorry. Uh, I never meant it for any of this to happen. Well, you never mean to fuck everything up, but you always do. Don't you, Keith? What you mean does not matter anymore. Sorry, You Brian. shut up! Shut sorry. up! You are please. not my brother anymore. You are not my brother. Brian, please! No, I can fucking kill you! Hey! Now is not the time to be turning on each other. Molly, baby, what are you doing? Keith. I have my gun, I don't Take need it. Take it. I'll find another one. I can go out there and I can distract no. him more. No, we stick together. If we watch each other's backs, we can ride this out till morning. Everything's locked up. We'll just double check that it is. Molly, there is no stopping what's coming. Is he still? Yeah. Just figuring it out. Get in there. Do you think you can move? Yeah, I'll try. Only one way out of this for you. We're not separating. No, I'm gonna buy you time. Keith. I can buy you time, Molly. He can get anywhere he wants. I've seen it happen. It's like he can tell. No, 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 no. Molly's right. Molly's right. We, we uh, stay put. We stay together. Even if you. Brother, Brian. None of you are in control of what happens next. Keith wants to kill you. Brian, when he picked up that shovel, poor Molly. All she did was trust the wrong person. It's time. I'm gonna distract him. You guys make a run for it. We can all Molly, go. Molly, I wanna do this. Please let me do this. Please. Let me go. I'm glad I got to meet you, Molly. Okay. 
Uh, no, 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 no. We have to run. I can't. Come on. Ellen, get the, get the car. Check the car. Okay. This really is noble of you, Keith. You had been this brave from the beginning, none of this would be happening. Killing you is doing a service to the world, and you know it. Deep down, and you want it just like Lenny did. I'm happy to oblige. You should be happy. I finally did what you always wanted to do. Molly! I killed your brother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> It was me. I did. I killed him. It was me. Right? No, I didn't beat you. He was gonna attack later. me. Alright, now we have to go. <laughs> Keith? No. Brian. Molly, go. Go on. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna leave you. Me too. Just get help. <laughs> you don't belong here. There's a small part of you that's relieved that it's me and not him, isn't there? Get out of him. Well, your little girlfriend did quite a number on Lenny's body, so I didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're not a fighter. I can see that. Let's just talk. Huh? I don't want you. Brian. I want her. You and Keith your self-loathing and your anxieties. It's like wearing a filthy suit, but Molly. Oh, Molly is truly innocent, isn't she? And she's brave, unlike you. You don't get to touch her. Is it your guilt? Do you somehow feel guilty? Responsible for Lenny's death? Let me tell you something. That 
was me that night. Lenny was dead. Long before you even got here. You can walk away from all this as best you can. Your hands are clean. Oh. You don't want to do this. Not to your own brother. You're not him. No. No. I can feel him. He's in there, hanging on. Maybe when I leave this body, he'll still be alive. I don't know. Stop it. Do you want to know what he's saying? Keith, I, I don't know if you're in there, but if you are... Why is it that we can only be honest with each other in moments like these? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I should have been there. I should have tried harder. I love you, Keith. He loves you, too. Don't make me do this. Please stop! Stop! Brian, what happened?
Brian. <laughs>